Okay, so right now we are in the Smart Music Library database, and they have a couple sample titles here. Um, you can see that we've got Amazing Grace, Danny Boy, Deck the Hall, a couple other ones here. Ave Maria, Gavat, Rock and Blues. And then we also have a couple of exercise books and um, exercises that you can practice on. These are kind of your methods books. So let's go ahead and let's open the Smart Music Samples exercises and click on that. So we double click. Okay. And a couple of things I want to show you up here at the top of our screen. Um, first of all, we have our microphone setting volume. So you can turn the microphone down if you think it's too loud or if you need it to record you and pick up the sound a little bit more, we can turn that microphone up. So let's leave it to about here. Um, we have the volume setting of how it will play back to you after you're finished recording your particular exercise. So uh, if you need to turn that up or down, that's where you would do that with. Now, you can see that the music is set for us. Uh, a couple different things. We have the tempo marking that you can change over here. So currently it's 80 beats per second, but you could make that faster if you wanted to, or you could make it even slower than 80. Let's keep it set at 80 beats per second though. That's a good tempo, especially if you're starting out and warming up with your instrument. Currently, it is set for your treble voice. So you can click there on that little arrow and you can see a long list of choices. So if you're practicing for treble voice and this is a singing exercise, then you would keep it there. However, if you were a bass voice and you were practicing a bass exercise, you would put it on the bass voice. So let's go ahead and click on that and see what happens to our music. It gives you a different sample in the bass clef in the bass clef voice range of the notes that they would be performing. But I don't want to do the bass voice, so let's come up here and click again. Let's say you're a trombone player. So you would scroll the whole way down here and you would select trombone and we'll see how the music changes once more. You can see that they set that up then for your trombone playing. We'll click up here again and let's say you want to play the violin, so you're performing uh, this particular exercise on the violin. So it would reset the music to the violin setting. Uh, we are going today to play and perform and practice on our flute. So let's go ahead and set it to the flute setting. And notice the music is all set up for you then to play. Um, when you're ready to perform with the music, you would come up here and do start, take, and play along. Now it's going to count me off. And you're going to hear me play a couple incorrect notes as we play, and you can see what happens as we play some of those incorrect notes. Before we start, though, you'll notice there is a tuner over here that you can click on, and you can tune yourself to see how far you're in tune. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. So I'm a little sharp. Right there I'm about ready so I'm gonna click done so I've tuned my instrument and I'm ready to begin my recording now so I'm going to do the start take it's gonna count me off and I will begin playing of how you did. Now a couple notes they say I am playing incorrectly. Um, one of them being the E flat. So the notes I played incorrectly have showed up in red. So I'll click on the black note. The E is what I should have played which is in black but E flat is what I actually played. So it gives you the, no the fingerings of the correct note but then if you click on the red note it also gives you the fingerings of the incorrect note. Same over here, you played B. You should, I should have played B, 
but it gives you the fingering of the black note, the note I should have played. However, I played a B flat. So it gives me the fingerings of the incorrect note. The notes in green are notes that I played correctly. And then this D over here is a note that I'm is saying that I was out of tune. So we're going to retry it. Oh. And see how we do. So we'll go back to the beginning and retry our take and see how we do. got 100% on our assessment. So it gives you that immediate feedback and how well you improved from the first take to the second take to the third take. One more thing I want to show you is where you're allowed to start. Um, you can take it from wherever you want. You can start at the very beginning of the song to practice or if you want to start in a different section, let's say you want to practice just that last line in your music, you can hover over the note and move your mouse and put the cursor there. And then you would simply start playing from this point on in the rest of the music. So you go up to start take and then perform from that second system to the end of the music. So it's a really great resource. Again, that immediate feedback and assessment showed me how I improved from the first take to the second right away um, and lots of other things that this program can do.